In the future, you could be building your own smartphone or tablet just like this. Slotting pieces together like Lego, even a six-year-old can make this simple computer. And it's from Cano. They hope to inspire a new generation and make the UK a world leader in technology innovation. When you look at the way a two-year-old baby plays with an iPad, it, it really looks like a magic because they basically swipe a finger and they do anything they want. They can change the screens, they can play a game. But when you, when you look deep into it, they, they have no idea how it actually operates. What better way to get people learning about computers and how they work than to make it fun, like a game? And considering experts say that we'll need one million more people to work in the tech sector in the next decade, the UK government's plan to change the curriculum in schools is a good place to start. When you dress something up as a, as a kiddie product and you tell them that it's good for them, it suddenly becomes like broccoli or Brussels sprouts. We thought a kit, you know, take it out of the box. We don't have to be there. It's something that you play with, the experience you control, and at the end of it, you know, you can make any number of things. Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak has backed them, and they've raised close to a million pounds to develop Cano. Your little treasure chest of components and cords and cables, all very colorful. Here we have the brain. It's powered by Raspberry Pi, a credit card-sized computer that plugs into a keyboard. It's all color-coded in order to give kids, you know, uh, visual cues. Red we use for power, yellow we use for video. This SD card has, you know, what we think is the world's most simple, fun, yet, you know, still open source and free operating system based on Linux. So, and here we go, a, uh, a computer comes to life on the screen. The kit doesn't come with the screen, which may put people off, considering you can pick up a supermarket tablet for very little. So we asked a tech entrepreneur who's made millions what he thinks of Cano's chances. I've kind of done the old Apple model, which was take loads of parts, give it some branding, package it up well, focus on your, your key users. I actually think it's underpriced and I may get shot for this. It feels too cheap. They seem to be bringing added value. It's really important for us to kind of find the sweet spot between what we're providing and at what price, because we're trying to not just build a computer anyone can make, but it means when anyone can make, it means that it's also very affordable. The team want to make playing with a Cano kit as fun as plugging in a PlayStation. And if you've been yearning to get your hands back on Pong, it might be well worth the £79 price tag. Oh,